you know, we talked about a localizer approach and we talked about an ILS approach and how to enter a flight plan into the FMS. But what if you want to do an LNAV, VNAV approach? You want to do an RNAV GPS to runway 36 center. You're going to be doing it as an LNAV, VNAV. How do you do that? You go to the nav page, select arrival, select your runway. We'll use 36 center again. But this time we're going to do an RNAV approach to 36 center. So we'll press RNAV to 36 center. We'll do it off of a transition. We'll call it HLI. That's Holly Springs. And then this page shows up. This software is going to default this approach to an LPV approach. We are not doing it. Most of you probably, not most of you, but some of you might not even be authorized to do LPV approaches. So how do we get that out of LPV and put it into LNAV VNAV? Simple. See where it says RNAV minimum? Line select to right, and it brings up this page. LNAV VNAV. Select LNAV VNAV, it's on line select three left. It will bring you back to your page, and now instead of LPV, you have LNAV VNAV. There's a star in here. If you want a star, that's fine. If not, you can take it out. How do you take that out? Delete it. Press the delete button. Press cram. It deletes it, but the only way it's going to get out of that system is by activating it. But before you activate it, is this what you want? Runway 36 center, yes, to Memphis. We want to do the RNAV off of HLI transition. And the approach we want to do is the LNAV VNAV. Hit activate and we're good. Verify that you have RAM. How do you do that? Well, you're not going to be able to do that because there's no time in here. The time only starts after we take off. But the procedure to get RAM would be nav, position sensors, go next to GPS 1, and on line select 3 right press status, and then it says predict RAM. Nothing is going to show up here. There has to be a time, and it's not going to start time until you get weight off of the wheels. We can force that in, though. And here's how you do that. Go back to your flight plan page. Runway 18 center to Memphis. Let's say we're going to depart at 1800. Put slash 1800. Put that right over the runway. This you probably wouldn't do unless you're in a place like Shannon, Ireland, and you're going to be coasting out of there going back to the States. ATC wants an estimation of your first your coast out point. That's the only time that you probably do this. Otherwise, just wait till the airplane goes right off of the wheels and the time will come up. In fact, that 1800 that we put in there will go away as soon as we get weight off of wheels. Anyway, back to selecting uh, rain. You go nav, position sensors on four left. Go to the next page, GPS one to status. Select status. Then predict rain, which is on four right. Predict rain. Now we have a time in there. So when we predict rain, it says, oh, okay. Now I know what time you want to be there. And it's telling us that we do have rain available. This will happen while you're in the air. As long as you follow those easy steps. That's it.